Our bodies are in constant contact with environmental factors. Epithelial barriers, like the skin or gut mucosa, represent the first line of defense. In the gut mucosa, specialized immune cells actively reinforce the barrier and induce tolerance against food or commensal bacteria. Among these immune cells, a recently discovered type of lymphocyte called innate lymphoid cells, or ILCs, orchestrate immune responses and maintain tissue homeostasis. Unlike the T and B lymphocytes, ILCs do not express adaptive antigen recognition receptors. As such, their activation and expansion is not driven by antigen, but rather by cytokine signals from the tissue. ILCs come in three types. ILC1, ILC2, and ILC3. ILC3s interact with dendritic cells to maintain the epithelial barrier. Dendritic cells, which are specialized in the presentation of antigen, acquire antigen from the gut microbiota and secrete interleukin-23. IL-23 stimulates the ILC3s to make IL-22 which then activates the epithelium to secrete antimicrobial peptides, or AMPs, that kill bacteria directly. IL-22 also enhances IL-23 production in dendritic cells. This dialogue between dendritic cells and ILC3s maintains the barrier against pathogenic or commensal bacteria. ILC3s also interact with macrophages to establish tolerance towards the commensal microbiota. Antigen from gut bacteria induces the inflammatory cytokine IL-1-beta in macrophages, which in turn triggers the secretion of GM-CSF in ILC3s. GM-CSF signals back to macrophages to induce retinoic acid, which promotes the differentiation of regulatory T-cells. Regulatory T-cells are essential in maintaining tolerance towards the commensal microbiota. ILC2s contribute to responses against helminths. These parasitic worms release enzymes that digest the mucus barrier and cause massive cell death. Epithelial cells sense the danger signals released by the dying cells and produce alarmins. In response to the alarm in IL-25, ILC2s make mediators that induce mucus production from goblet cells, send activated dendritic cells to the lymph node where they can prime T-cell effectors, recruit eosinophils and mast cells, and induce muscle contraction. These actions result in the expulsion of worms from the gut. In response to IL-33, ILC2s also make amphiregulin. Which induces tissue repair following worm clearance. However, ILCs also contribute to tissue pathology. ILC1s, which make the inflammatory mediator interferon gamma, and ILC3s, which can acquire the ability to make interferon gamma during chronic inflammation, are found in inflammatory bowel diseases such as colitis and Crohn's disease and contribute to gut pathology. As such, ILCs participate in various aspects of immunity, from maintenance of the epithelial barrier and tolerance against commensals, to immune responses against parasites and pathology associated with chronic inflammation. <laughs>